Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about your fat and your genetics, okay? I know it kind of almost pisses people off sometimes to see other people eating junk. They're not gaining any weight. They look healthy, but are they really? Let's take a look at what happens. There's kind of two groups that people fall into. People that get fat and other people that don't get fat. And this is only 10% of the population. This is 90% of the population. Let's talk about this group right here. What happens for most people is the fat cell starts to hypertrophy. It starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It can increase by volume by 8,000%. I mean, to the point where you can't cram any more fat into that cell because the body's trying to store all this energy and this sugar that's being converted in there. And with this particular person, they have inflammation, they have immune reactions, they have cellular death, and they always have insulin resistance. That's the common thread. And they have massive amounts of high insulin 24 seven. Um, the fat will first go in the subcutaneous right below the skin. Then it goes in the viscera around the organs. And this is, now it's gonna start spilling off into the liver, the muscles, the pancreas, and the blood vessels. And they have all sorts of problems. This is typical for the majority of the population. Now, when we get to the 10% of the population who has a different genetics, they don't necessarily uh, show visibly on the outside at first. They're not getting fat because instead of the fat cells expanding, they're getting uh, shooting off multiple fat cells. It's called hyperplasia. They don't initially get inflammation. They don't initially get insulin resistance because they're just making some new fat cells. They're kind of gaining a little weight, but it's not really showing on the outside. And rarely do they get subcutaneous fat, okay? Their stomach might start bulging out more like protruded, kind of like they might even have definition and look lean, but their stomach is kind of swollen because they're getting a lot of visceral fat. They're getting uh, fat that's spilling off into the liver, eventually the muscles and the organs as well. And these people eventually get diabetes, okay? So they have a lot of problems with blood sugars and they have high levels of insulin, but they look completely different than this group over here. So the point is that when you see someone that is eating junk and they're looking skinny, realize a lot of the damage is occurring deeper inside the body. If they were to get an ultrasound and look at the liver and around the organs, you would see a lot of damage. If they were to get their insulin tested, it would be high, okay? But not initially, but over time it would be. Because I just wanted to clear up the difference between these two categories because a lot of people kind of get scourged because they see some people getting away with it, but they're not really getting away with it. All right? All right. See you in the next video. Hey guys, a lot of you already have my book. Some of you don't. But this new edition called the New Body Type Guide is an upgrade from my last edition called the Seven Principles of Fat Burning. It has 156 images, 378 pages, full glossary. I talk about keto, intermittent fasting, the body types in detail. I have a new stress chapter. I'm going to show you exactly what to eat and a comprehensive FAQ. I put a link down below. Check it out.